Hey everyone, it's Nancy, and I wanted to share the Halloween mini album that I made for Tanya. She's Evil Scrapper here on YouTube. Um, this is for a swap that's being hosted by Dawn Marie um, as part of the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood that is hosted by Jade. So, this is the mini that I created for Tanya, and it's not so many, but I really, really love the way that it turned out. On the cover, it's a gatefold style mini album, and um, I've seen this done before with like envelopes and stuff, but um, I just, I took some paper and I started cutting it and put it together and used that as a template to make the book. Um, on the back and the front covers, I don't know how well it'll show the texture of this, but I did this kind of like I did my coffin with the hot glue and then the bead gel and then painted over it with the black gesso. And I also put some rock candy stickles on it so it has some shimmer as well. So this is the back cover and then this is the front and the same technique on the front covers. And I found it using some black tool and as she adds pictures she can adjust this as she needs to. I left a little bit of tails on the tool so that it can be adjusted if it needs to be. Um, I used some gardenias that I painted black and then used some black um, shimmer that I made my own um, which is the black ink with the black shimmer so um, I really love it and they're really really sparkly. Um, this this is um, like a huge cameo um, and I got it at Michael's in, in the Halloween decorations and I got this one and I haven't seen them since because I tried to get another one and I haven't been able to find them in three stores. So, But I really like her um, and I really wanted this for the front cover. And then these spiders down here, like this spider was orange and I painted him and then black and then I added some silver rub and buff to him so he would pop. And then the spider here added some silver rub and buff and then this one. And the mini opens, there's a tie right here with black tool and I use the Tim Holtz hitch fasteners for the closure so you just untie it. And again I left plenty of room if she needs to expand this. So the mini is the gatefold and it opens like this. So we'll start on this side. This page, I just put a purple wild orchid craft petal with a spider on it. And then this is a pocket and I made just a little book that she can add pictures to or whatever. Really simple little book. And then this page, I used a piece of acetate um, packaging material and I ran it through the Swiss, Swiss Dots Cuddlebug folder to add the texture to it. And I used some of the thin Rena Bling here, some more Wild Orchid Craft petals that I distressed. And these are little Sudoku numbers um, instead of like bingo pieces or Sudoku. And so I put 31 there and then I altered this tag, just stamped a, shallow, a chandelier on there and then journaling on the back. And I still need to add some trims or ribbons or whatever to the tags. So, And then on the little page that's from the cover, I stamped the Tim Holtz skeleton. And then I colored in with my Copics using like the monochromatic. And he's popped up on Pop Dots too. These, are, these books are hard to show. Okay, you turn the page. And then this page, um, I made this little flip out book. I put some a prima flower with the skulls on it that I've had forever and a lot of craft petals. And then a little um, embellishment from the Authentic collection that says beware and a little bat up here. And then this opens up like this. And this says double double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble got the little witch flying away right there. 
So I combined the Authentique with the DCWV paper and I really like the way it turned out. And then this page, um, I added the Prima flowers and another spider, more Primas here and some bling. And this little, this is an envelope that I made, I cut by hand and I just added some buttons and then this orange and white twine, baker's twine. You open it up and you can put stuff in it. It's just a little envelope and this is an image that I had cut out just stuck in there. Basically it's my reminder that I've got to put tags in that pocket so I will be going back and doing that hopefully. So it just closes and then you just wrap the baker's twine around the buttons like that. You flip this page. Let me shift it again. These are, I love these albums, but they're hard to show. Then this page, I added some of the regular size Rena Baling and then some more Prima flowers. It opens like this. So, um, some more Prima flowers here, and then a piece of the Rena Baling is the center, and then some of the thin Rena Baling here. So room for photos or journaling. Okay, and then this page, I made this tag, and this is just like the one that I did in my video, but this is a smaller version of that tag, and I used this Martha Stewart um, web ribbon that everybody got last year, put a spider on it there and some of the arena bling here to stop the tag from sliding out. So then you turn the page. And then this page, just a couple of journaling spots. And I put some crackle accents on the little bats. And this piece of ribbon is not tacked down, so pictures or tags can slide into there. More Prima flowers with the skulls, some more of the arena bling. And then the center page, this is the Tim Holtz The Spooky House, and I did the same technique on this as I did on the covers. And I put some of the thin arena bling across the bottom, a little haunted, and some more the arena bling across the top. And then some more journaling spots. And these are white on the back, so I did cover them, put black paper back there. And then this one I put a spider on. And then this page right here, I just added some of the arena bling. I really love that silhouette right there, and I put a spider. And then this page is a pocket and put some little spiders on it, some more Prima flowers, a little eek on a Tim Holtz memo pen, a couple more journaling tags. I use the spiders for the little pulls at the top. Really cute. And then this page is just a pocket page. Here just has a journaling spot in it. Again, I covered the back with the textured cardstock and I used black textured cardstock throughout it and then another gardenia that I painted and then used my homemade mist on really shimmery really love that and then this page right here this just has the bow tied on it and you untie the bow which I might regret this not being able to get it back right but you untie it and it's got magnets, so it opens up, so she can put photos there or on this side. The magnet closure, and those are some seriously, seriously strong magnets. Um, they're supposed to go with the, the bottle cap stuff, and so they're made to be actual magnets that you would use, I guess, like on your refrigerator. I told y'all I wouldn't be able to tie this back. I am horrible at tying bows. 
probably took me 20 minutes to tie the first one. Anyway, I'll fix it later. So then you turn the last page in just a little frame and I did the same technique on this frame as I did on the covers. Added a couple primas with the little arena bling in the center and then this is the back and I just left the Happy Halloween and added some more of the thin Rena Baling. So her mini closes like this just back and forth. I'm really not sure about this binding. I really might have to change it because it's a lot it's flimsier than you know I had planned for it to be and I just I'm having a hard time with the binding on it. So, I hope Tanya likes it. It takes some adjustments to get it to line up. I probably should have made this right side a little bit bigger, but it'll be okay. And I also made her a swivel clasp charm, a dangly for the side. And rather than putting it on the left side like we all normally do, I put it on the right side. Sorry, I'm trying to tie this shut so I can show this better. Okay, so here's her little dangly. And I added a couple of spiders and then this spooky little lock and key looking piece. And some bling pieces and a spider on its web down here at the bottom. Really cute. And I, um, I had made this little vial of blood um, like it's just oozing down one side and um, I wanted to put it on the silver clasp but the red really just does not match the silver clasp in the cover so I don't know what I'm going to do with this I'll find some use for it so that is my mini that I made for Tanya and I really hope that she likes it um, I did. I used the Authentic and the DCWV paper together, and I really liked the way that they came out. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.